name is Ellie and I'm 11 years old and I look after my mum, my younger sister and my younger brother. I help my mum sort out her tablets. Um, I do a lot of things around the house like washing. I also help feed my brother and sister their dinner. I'm meeting Ellie on the Yorkshire coast where she lives, a child providing vital support for her mum, who recently came home from hospital, a big burden on small shoulders. What do you do when it all just seems to be getting too much for you to cope with? Because of my worries, I would cry. I, I am known for crying um, quite often in school normally because I don't want to cry at home. Coronavirus lockdown separated young carers from school and friends, yet their work increased as professional help dried up. Many report increased anxiety. Your mum has been through some difficult times. You must worry about her. Yeah, I do worry about her a lot. And I don't know if you've ever heard the story about the worry bag and every worry that this girl has, it, there's a worry into the bag and soon the bag gets really heavy and she can't carry it anymore. To talk to someone, that's uh, at least three quarters of your worries just gone. This campaigner estimates there are more than a million young carers and says many need help. For us, unpaid carers are the backbone of society and young carers are absolutely part of that. It's important that their needs are prioritised as we come out of this and that support is available for them. Their work is unpaid and unseen, but there's growing evidence that children doing so much to support their families now need urgent support themselves. Chris Choi, ITV News.